Good morning, good morning. Um, happy Saturday. I am just kind of finishing up in my quiet time, but I was reading, continu continuing to read through Matthew, and I wasn't going to do um, a video or anything like this, but now I have questions, so I kind of feel like I need some input. <laughs> so, good morning, you guys. My name is Rhonda. Welcome to my channel. If you are new and you come across this video, it'll probably be super short, but I just kind of want to put this question out there because I've not read this verse like this before and I guess I don't know whether I'm feeling a little convicted or I just have questions or so anyway I'm gonna put this video out there and I would love some um, some input so I am in Matthew 13 and I was reading the parable of the mustard seed and the leaven and of course when I was reading through the mustard seed when I picked up on some a few tips that I didn't really um, realized before but the question arised when I started reading about the leaven and it's in verse 33 and it said he told them and this is Jesus um, because he's given the parable and he told them another parable the kingdom of heaven is like leaven that a woman took and hid in three measures of flour till it was all leavened so of course I just pull out my commentary I'm like okay well that just means you know little bit of yeast spoils the whole batch that's how I've always understood that and um, but in, in the commentary it breaks it down deeper and it says the parable of the leaven next the Lord Jesus compared the kingdom to the kingdom to leaven which a woman hid in three measures of meal eventually all the meal became leaven and so a common interpretation is that the meal is the world and the leaven is the gospel, which will be preached throughout the world until everyone becomes saved. But they say that that is a contradicted view and that it's not really what scripture says. And then it breaks it down and says, leaven is always a type of evil in the Bible, which I kind of knew because, you know, when they say if you put, you know, the, a little bit of yeast spoils the whole batch, so that's a little bit of evil spoils the whole thing. So when God commanded his people to rid their house of leaven back in Exodus, they understood this. And if anyone ate what was leavened from the first till the seventh day of the feast of unleavened bread, he would be cut off from Israel. Jesus warned against the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees in Matthew and the leaven of Herod in Mark in 1 Corinthians, the leaven is defined as malice and evil, and the context of Galatians 5, 9 is that there is, and there it means false teaching. So in general, leaven means either evil doctrine or evil behavior. Okay, we get that. And now it drops down and talks about, so in this parable, the Lord is warning against the permeating power of evil working in the kingdom of heaven. The parable of the mustard seed shows evil in the external character of the kingdom. This parable shows the inward corruption that would take place. And here's where I got underlined happy <laughs> because it says, we believe that in this parable the meal represents the food of god's people and is found in the bible as it is found in the bible the leaven is evil doctrine the woman is a false prophetess who teaches and begules and that's in revelation 220. is it not significant that women have been founders of several false cults forbidding for forbidding by the Bible to teach in the church, which they list Corinthians and Timothy. Some have defiantly taken the place of doctoral authorities and have adulterated the food of God's people with destructive heresies. And I just was like, okay, well, I, I get that. Um, I know that women shouldn't, or maybe I don't get it. Here's where my, I kind of got crazy. Because I follow female teachers or preachers. I mean, I've backed away from from a handful of them just because of um, 
you know, just learning different doctrines and kind of growing in my faith walk and kind of understanding and stepping into more of a submissive role, not as be walked all over like a floor mat, but just in in God's expectation of, you know, me as a woman. And um, so I, what, so like, there's so many that I like that I follow that I feel that teach or do like Bible studies, like what I'm doing, like, is this wrong what I'm doing? by getting on here and sharing even though it does say forbidden by the bible to teach in the church i'm not like in a building in a church or hired by a church or employed by a church but i am sharing my bible studies and um i don't know i just really all of a sudden just felt like what um I'm trying not to teach anything false. I'm trying to stick to what the Bible says and comp and you know bring in better understanding to share. But then it just it just really tore up my mind this morning of me thinking about because I love Lisa Harper. I like to listen to Priscilla Shire. Um, I no longer listen to Joyce Meyer or Beth Moore because they kind of are more on a different doctrine preaching platform than I really. Um, have come to believe in and um, adopt but there are others that I find that I come across on YouTube that has such a good message and I felt like they were in more of a teaching to women type thing y'all I'm having an issue this morning with this I want to make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do without crossing the line so I don't know. I mean, I'm not really taking a place of doctrinal authorities. I'm not really trying to adulterate the food of God's people with destructive heresies. I'm really trying to share scripture. So yeah, that's kind of my um, true stumbling block this morning. I wanna make sure that I'm in the right steps even though I feel like it was heavy on my heart to start sharing my studies and, um, you know, help people as I'm learning, maybe try something that I'm doing to help them understand. But then again, I also know that this is talking on a bigger picture. So does that take um, the enjoyment that I'm currently having and watching some of the teachers online? Do I need to stop that? Because I will. That's not... I'm not saying, oh, I could never do that. I could totally do that. That's not, I'm just wanting to make sure am I understanding the passage and kind of the breakdown of the passage or the explanation of the passage that women 100% should not be in a church setting or called a pastor and be able to get up and teach. Um, because I know there's several churches around here that have couples that are pastoring the church you know, and they're both pastors. And so is is that not allowed? Is that a church that I should stay away from? Can you feel what can you feel what I'm trying to put out there? Because I don't know if I'm stumbling over my words. But anyway, I know this is gonna be one of those awkward videos, but I'm gonna post it just as it is. No editing, no anything, just kind of putting my thoughts out loud because I, I'm still growing in my faith, so I don't have it all down and these are sometimes little stumbling blocks that I may be overthinking. Maybe it is straightforward talking about people, women should not be pastors in a church. Maybe it has nothing to do with me sharing on YouTube, but I want to make sure. And so if there's someone who has a little bit more foreknowledge than I do at this point, I would love your input, a little guidance, um, just to make sure that I'm walking the, the walk and that I'm supposed to. And of course, I'm already talking to God out loud about this because that's why I'm so confused and that's why I was laid on my heart to put a, a video out there just because I'm like okay I'm just reaching all angles here but anyway happy Saturday they're doing a, a there's a little school down the road and they're getting set up they're doing a fun walk from 9 to 11 so they're they're getting the sirens going they've got like, these little planes flying over and the streets lined with cars so that's what the noise in the background is so anyway um no one's being arrested. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Anyway, happy Saturday, you guys. Um, I would love your input um, on kind of what you thought about this. And if you have any 
um, recommendations or conversations that we can have. I mean, I'm happy to take it offline too. I don't care. I just would really like some, you know, some encouragement or some directional um, leeway or directional leading. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.